Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are finally finishing off the Shadow Throne box set by doing the... What are these guys? The Neophytes. The fodder. Yes. So, we start off by assembling them uh, entirely in their body, their head, and in some cases their guns are separate along with the extra arm that goes in. In some cases uh, I gave them shotguns and so some of them have their arms glued on because uh, the gun was far away enough from its body that it wouldn't have gotten in the way of painting. And so I primed it with Bright Touch General Purpose Car Primer. And here we go. So pre-coating, we're going to start with Dawnstone, Pallid Witch Flesh, and White Scar White. So we're going to start with Dawnstone. I wanted it as the dark shadowy color because uh, all the previous ones have not had it but I probably should have gone a bit darker because it didn't show up that well in the final product. And then I use an airbrush with Pallid Witch Flesh and I airbrush from like top 45 degrees down to create the light and dark contrast. And then with White Scar White I use a dry brush and I dry brush all over. Note that this will be mostly speed painting or that's my focus. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because they're cheap fodder infantry. These guys are six points each and unless you put them in a transport they're going to die in five seconds. Alright, now with Kalidor Sky, Daemonet Hide, Temple Guard Blue, Eshin Grey, Grey Seer, XV88, uh, Griffhound Contrast Paint, uh, Orange, Griffhound Orange, and Lamian Medium, we're going to do all the base layers of paint onto the model. Now, we're going to start with the Gene Stealer stuff. So with Kalidor Sky mixed sort of one to one ish with Lamian Medium, we're going to apply it over their Gene Stealer arm pieces. Uh, there's a few of them that have this. this the one thing I dislike about squads is that some guys have certain knickknacks or things and some don't and overall sometimes you miss some of them here and there coming back so it's a little irritating to deal with but actually this is my first squad I painted in a while. And then with Damon at Hyde with mix the same with Lamy Medium I applied onto their Gene Stealer hands. Yeah uh, not the normal hands but the Gene Stealer ones. There's a few of them the guys carrying the heavy weapons. Now with Temple Guard Blue, we're going to do the same mix with Lamy and Medium, and we're going to apply it on their clothing, their shirts, t-shirts, and pants that's around. And then with Ish and Gray, water down again with Lamy and Medium, of course, we're going to apply it onto their gray armor pad thingies. So their armor can be divided into two things, the shin pad, the stomach, and back armor like that, but then they have this upper piece that goes around their shoulders and neck and chest. That we're going to do with Grace here. And... Honestly, kind of was no point. <laughs> I mean, uh, the undercoating honestly looked the same, so basically all this did was create a flat color throughout the armor pieces, so you could pretty much avoid this step, uh, looking back. Then with XV-88, of course with Lamy and Medium, we apply it to their leather gun holsters and ammo pouches that they have all around. And then with Griffhound Orange mixed with a little bit of Lamy and Medium in, not exactly one-to-one, -one, we apply around two coats of that onto the ones that have, uh, like, kilts? Skirts? Yeah. And now with French Ultramarine, <laughs> Black, Burnt Umber, Magenta, and Cadmium Red, we're going to do our oil washes mixed with Mineral Spirits. And so the, I'm going to mix blue and black to create a very dark one, and I'm going to apply around two coats of that onto the Gene Sealer arm and wipe it off once it dries a little bit. And I can go back and apply a thinner amount of this afterwards and then wipe it off a bit again. Then I'm going to apply the black color uh, wash or black oil wash onto their armor pieces the ones that are not around their necks the bright white ones the gracier ones then with burnt umber we are going to 
use a wash onto the gun holsters and leather pouches, stuff like that. And some of them have these bandages that are on the feet that I painted in the same color of XV88. Forgot to mention that earlier. Yeah, I apply that there as well. And of course, I wipe it off once it's drawn, dried. And I also forgot to mention that the blue and black mix was also applied to their clothing or their shirts and pants and wiped off appropriately. Then I used a mix of the purple, uh, well, the red mixed with the purple to make it darker and applied it onto their skirts, the ones that had it. And then I wiped that off as well after the fact. All right, now for the faces and hands. So with Cadian Flesh Tone mixed with Pallid Witch Flesh and diluted a little bit with Lamian Medium, we're going to just apply a simple coat onto their skin. So the heads were already pre-painted with the uh, Gene Stealer color to add some darkness, and I applied one coat, and it created this like mess color. So, okay, so here's the thing. I tried to do this in a quick way because it's sort of speed painting, but so in order to have the same quality I did with my previous guys, uh, the Saboteur, Primus, all that stuff, it was around a little over a half hour to 40 minutes of work to achieve that same quality. And there's 10 of these guys. I mean, that's not happening. <laughs> Let's be real. And so this base layer really didn't look good at first glance. Now, I don't show it, uh, but I'll mention it here. Later, I went back with a Magus, uh, with the contrast paint, Magus Purple, diluted with a bit of Lamy Medium, and I just applied a few coats of that and dry brushed a little bit with Cadian Flesh Tone and Palette Witch Flesh, and it spruced up the colors and highlights a little bit better than this, which was terrible. But it, to make it look good and look nice and fast for 10 models, it wasn't that well. But I eventually figured out an idea after the fact, after I painted this. Basically just use an airbrush, uh, dark purple as a base, and then you just airbrush the Cadian Flesh Tone Pellet Witch Flesh mix onto it, the majority of it, then add a lighter color in to highlight it a bit further, and then just apply a little bit of the Magus uh, Purple Wash, which I'd probably do now that I know about it, or looking back, but hey, that's what these videos are mostly for, for learning and experimentation, mostly. Alright, so with Black Templar Contrast Paint, Warp Stone Glow, Evil Sun Scarlet, Aberland Sunset, Uriel Yellow, XV88, and Mournfang Brown, we're going to paint, uh, well, a bunch of small details. So with Black Templar Contrast, there's a bunch of these, like, hoses and, like, uh, cords going out throughout their armor and some into their guns uh, for the heavy weapons. We use Black Templar Contrast Paint on them. With Warp Stone Glow, there are some panels with lights we'll, or for an LCD screen, we'll apply it there and we'll also apply it on some buttons and some of them have buttons on their chest. Then with Evil Sun Scarlet, uh, there are some buttons and stuff we'll apply it on as well but also they have like these flares, dynamite sticks in like these pouches and stuff, we'll apply that there. And then with Everland Sunset and Uriel Yellow, so Everland is the darker, they have these flashlights everywhere and some glowing lights on their bodies, we'll apply Everland Sunset as the base and then we'll highlight that with Uriel Yellow. Then with XV88 mixed one-to-one-ish with Mournfang Brown, they have these like leather ties and stuff and straps around their legs and such and such. We're just gonna apply that here onto them. They also have like uh, their Gene Stealer Cult charm is held by a chain, which is held by a piece of leather and on their back they have some leather as well. So just FYI. All right, at this point, all the non-metal is done. So with AK Interact Ultra Matte Varnish, I go and just varnish the whole thing, uh, all the parts that we have painted, and to seal it in. All right, with Runefang Steel Air, uh, Liquitex Ink Carbon Black and Liquitex Ink Transparent Burnt Sienna, and Liquitex Gloss Varnish mixed in, we're going to paint some metals. Now, I completely forgot to get footage of the metals <laughs> I actually didn't do it, I only did it for the gold. So basically with Runefang Air Steel mixed with a little bit of the carbon black and with a drop of Liquitex Gloss Varnish to keep the luster, I applied it to all the metals. And then I did the same thing except with that carbon black, I did it with a few drops of the transparent burnt sienna and applied it to the gold uh, Tyranid symbol as well as the charms they have in a few places where they'd be like, it'd be nice for there to be gold. I then dry brushed uh, Runefang Steel Air onto the weapons and metal to add some more depth to them, but uh, the weapons look plain. <laughs> All right, this is my pathetic attempt to try to add some depth to their weapons. So with Skeleton Horde Contrast Paint, I apply it onto like 
some of their guns have like these flat planes or places and stuff like with a bolter it's obvious because they have so much decoration on them and they have like these colored plates and stuff so it's easier these random chunks of metal like I got I got nothing and so I just applied skeleton or can contrast to yellow some of the flat plates of their guns Ugh. I then fully assemble and glue them onto their bases in which I will then after the fact give them uh, round out the edges of their bases with some Mornfang brown. And done. So, okay, this took longer than I expected. I keep saying that. But yeah, there are a few issues uh, with the squad. Well, not really issues with this particular model kit. It's just like in general. So this took a lot longer to make. I mean, like the, there's not that many steps involved. They're very simple quote-unquote simple they're more complex than Imperial Guard because they have all these little uh, cool things around their belt and stuff and their heavy weapons and stuff have some distinction their weapons are pretty plain and basic like with a last gun it, it would have like a color similar to their armor and then the shiny metal bits so that would be clean and obvious but these random metal metal weapons or shotguns there which are pretty good by the way two strength four attacks yeah really good and it's just a little hard to uh, figure out, essentially. Uh, it's just that these uh, models are kind of tedious because some of them have details that others don't, so sometimes you'll miss it. Uh, and they're guns, so the idea was to create an ensemble piece. There'd be nothing super awesome about them. And the heads actually did uh, detract a little bit from the overall appearance. The... Issue is they're just kind of a little hard to keep up with. A lot of small details uh, that gets in the way. It's a little irritating to paint in that way, but I mean, there's not that much to do. I mean, armor, uh, skin, clothes, and the random weapons and assortment and little knickknacks. So overall, like even though it's a speed painting way, these guys took a little bit longer than expected. But so overall, their heads detract and their bases don't add anything, but don't subtract anything either. I'll say so like. It looks pretty good up until their faces and skin, which I couldn't find a quick way to do it properly. But there wasn't that much detail to begin with anyway. Uh, so, overall I'd have to give my guys a 7 out of 10. The heads drag it down, the body and armor is okay, it would easily be an 8 if it wasn't for the heads and their guns. Their guns and their heads kind of do drag it down, uh, that's just it. Now looking back I you know, kind of figured out how I would do it better. Uh, make it more interesting, add more depth and such and such, but uh, I didn't realize that at the time. But Alrighty then, so this is the end of the Shadow Throne box set. I'm going to be changing things up a bit. I'm going to go back to my pile of shame, and a lot of Age of Sigmar has been piled up, even though I also bought that Orc box set, Christmas box set, I haven't touched yet. Uh, I, my pile of shame has been around for three years. I have so much. Uh, so I'll be trying to knock that out relatively quickly and soon. Well, as, as often as I can. I mean, come on, Elden Ring just came out. So, all right, like the video if you like the video. Uh, share it if you want to share. Comment if you want to comment or nitpick anything or point out anything you may have missed or a better idea of how to paint those guns and add some color onto these pieces of cheap crap. Yeah, and uh, more to come.